हेलो गाइस आई होप यू आर डूइंग रियली रियली वेल टुडे आई हैव विद मी सैमसंग गैलेक्सी बुक फोर प्रो 360 एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू टेक नोट्स ऑन दिस लैपटॉप सो लेट्स स्टार्ट the first feature is about taking notes on top of videos for example you are having a lecture or you are watching some kind of video and you want to take notes in the meantime so just bring your s pen closer to the screen press the s pen button it will open the air command and then from here select this create note option it will open the samsung notes and here you can start taking your notes but you can see this note taking app is blocking the view behind so you can open it in split screen so just press and hold it from the top it will open this split screen layout you can select this layout from here and now you can see your video and you can continue your work on your samsung notes the next feature is about bringing data from your internet browser to your notes for example i open google chrome and here i search some images on google for example i like this image so i will press and hold it like this it will open this menu from here i can select this option of copy image now what i can do i can easily paste in my notes so i will press and hold it like this i select this paste option so the same image is now available over here and now if you want you can do your labeling you can also use the highlighter and you can do all the other editings as well the next thing is same way you can also bring any text from your internet browser to your notes so i will go back from here and then for example i open this website and i like this text and i want this text in my notes so i will use my s pen and then i will start selecting the text so i will select it till here you can see this option of copy so i will copy this text now i will press and hold it like this on my notes and here you can see the text is available so i can just select it now the same text is available in my notes now if you want you can highlight this text if you want to edit this text you can use this keyboard tool and then you can edit this text as well The next feature is about bringing this whole web page to your notes. So what you can do is select these three dots and then from here you can select this option of print. And here you see this option of destination. Currently it is set to Microsoft print to PDF. You can select this arrow and then from here you can select this option of save as PDF. and then you can select save option and then you can select any destination i will select desktop and then from here i will select save now this web page is saved as pdf now what you can do on your note taking app you can make the size of this note taking app a little bigger and here you see this pdf plus icon you can select this icon and then from here you can select your pdf file and then you can open it so now you can see the same web page is available in my notes if you want to write something you can use this pen tool and you can write on this page if you want to highlight something you can use the highlighter and you can also add text to this web page so here you can see the same web page is available with my notes the next thing is if you want to access different pages you can select this page sorter option so i will select it from here now it will show you all the pages of your notes you can directly access any page for example i want to go on this page so i can select it from here and then i can continue my work on this page the next thing is you can also bookmark your pages so here is the bookmark option you can bookmark your pages as well if you want to add or delete page select these three dots from here and here is the option of add page and we also have the option of erase page and you can also delete the page the next feature is about pin your notes for example if you want to pin some specific part of your notes to your screen you can also do it just bring your s pen closer to the screen press the s pen button it will open the air command and then from here you can use this smart select tool so i will open this smart select tool then i will use my s pen and then i will start making my selection so for example i want to select this part of my notes so i will select it till here now you can see the same specific part is now selected now on top you can see this option of pin 
So you can select this pin option and now you will see the same note will be pinned to your screen. So even if I close my Samsung notes, you can see my pin notes are available on my screen. Even if I try to open another app, for example, I open this copilot, you can see the same pin notes are available. I can move it anywhere on my screen. The next thing, if you want to make it smaller, you can also do it. So here is the option to make it small so I will minimize it so here you can see it will become like this very small thumbnail now if you want to open it you can just tap on it and then your pin notes will open the next feature is about voice recording for example you have a lecture going on and you want to record that lecture and you want to take notes in the meantime so you can do it select this attach icon and then from here you see the very first option is about voice recording so you can select it it will start recording your lecture so you can also take your notes in the meantime once you finish with your recording you can select this stop option now if you want to play it select this arrow and here is the play option so now you can play this recording the next thing is this recording will be attached to your notes so whenever you open your notes your recording is available the next feature is about screen recording for example if you want to record your note taking or you want to prepare some kind of lecture you can use the screen recording option so first of all i will open the screen recorder app so guys this app is pre-installed in this laptop then you can open your notes and here is this red button for screen recording so i will select it and then after this countdown your screen screen recording will start now you can prepare your lecture or if you want to record your note taking you can also do it the next thing is you can open multiple apps for example i can make it a little smaller and then i can open another app for example i open this chrome and here if i want to explain something i can use this pen icon from this screen recorder so i will select it and now if i want to explain something i can use this pen tool and I can explain anything on my screen the next thing is if you want to turn on the front camera so here is the front camera option in this screen recorder so first of all I will remove this pen and then I will open this front camera so you can see this front camera is now open you can move this camera anywhere on your screen so once you finish with your screen recording you can just stop it from here and then it will ask you if you want to edit your screen recording so if you want to edit you can select yes it will open the studio plus app and then from here you can edit your screen recording if you don't want to edit the screen recording you can select this no option and your screen recording will automatically save in your gallery so later you can access it and you can share it now let's talk about tools so all the tools are available on this side you can expand these tools by selecting this arrow and here we have all the details available first of all let's talk about s pen to text tool so now whatever i write it will convert it into the text the next thing is you can also use this shape tool to create different diagrams for example i create this shape and you can see it will convert it into the neat shape for example, I create this star shape using my S Pen and here you can see it will convert it into the neat shape. So this tool is really helpful in creating flow charts or different diagrams. The next thing is you can also change the size and dimensions of these shapes. For example, I will press and hold this star shape and now here you can see I can easily rotate this star. I can also change its dimension and I can also change its size as well the next tool is this pen tool so in pen tool we have five different pen options so you can use this calligraphy brush you can change the thickness of this brush you can also change the color and then you can use your s pen if you want to draw something the next tool is this pencil tool so you can use this pencil tool and here you can change the thickness and you can also change the opacity of this pencil tool and then you can use this tool as well the next tool is this highlighter 
tool so we have four different type of highlighters available you can change the thickness and you can also change the opacity and you also have a different color option and then if you want to highlight something you can use this tool the next thing is if you want to erase something you can use this eraser tool or you can press and hold your s pen button so i will press and hold my s pen button and then i can erase anything in my notes so here you can see I can easily erase everything in my notes. We also have this selection tool so you can select anything in your notes and then if you want you can change their position and you can do all other editings as well. The next tool is this keyboard tool. So here we have all the tools related to text and font styles. So here you can see you can use this checklist option then we have this bullet points option then we also have this numbered list option you can also change the size of font from here you can also use this bold italic underline option and you can also change the color of your text if you want to change the alignment so here are the tools for changing the alignment of your text now if you want to write something you can just double tap it like this it will open the keyboard and then you can write your text so for example I want to change the color I can change the color and now I can continue my writing one more thing I want to mention here is below this video you can see this like button if you press it like this it will change its color you can try this experiment the next feature is about PDF annotations so guys you can annotate your PDF files using Samsung notes so first of all I will go back from here and you can see your dashboard on top right corner you can see this option of import PDF so you can select it and then you can select your PDF file and then you can open it so here is my PDF files now I can use all of these tools for example if I want to highlight something I can easily highlight any text inside my PDF file and then if you want to write something you can use your S Pen and you can write on your PDF you can also create different shapes inside your PDF once you finish with your editing you can also export it as PDF file so select these three dots here is the option of save as file and here you can see we have this PDF file option available so you can select this done option and then you can export it as a PDF file the next feature is about sync your notes so guys you can sync your Samsung notes across different Samsung devices you just have to go back from here and here is your dashboard and you can see this option of settings so you can select settings and you can see the very first option is about sync with Samsung cloud so you have to select it and then you have to sign in with your Samsung account you can also use your Google account the next feature is about tags so guys you can insert tags to your Samsung notes select these three dots and here you can see this option of tags so I will select this tags and then from here you can create a new tag so you can give it any name for example I will give it a name of book for pro okay and then I will select this plus option and then I will select done so now this tag is added you can go back from here and if you want to access these tags so here you can see on your dashboard you have this tags option you can select it from here and here you can see I have different tags so if I want to access my notes I can directly access it from here so you can see I can just select it and here it will show me my notes related to this tag you can also use this search option and then here you can also write this tag to easy access your notes the next feature is about categorization so guys you can categorize your notes into folders and subfolders you have to go back from here and here is your dashboard and then you can see this option of folders so I will select it so here you can see I create folders according to my semesters and then I create subfolders according to my subjects and inside those subfolders I create my notes so how to create these folders first of all select this folders option and then here on top right corner you can 
see these three dots so just select it and here is the option of create a folder so you can select create folder option and then you can give it any name and then from here you can give it any color and then you can select this add option so you can see this folder is now created so you can open it and then inside this folder again you can create another folder select these three dots again here is the create folder option you can give it any name and then you can can add it and then inside this subfolder you can create node so you can select this create node option and then you can start working on your notes the next feature is about page templates and page settings so you can select these three dots and then you see the very first option is about page template you can select it from here and here you can see we have different page templates option available you can select these pages with lines or with grids the next thing is you can also select this pdfs option and here we have different yearly planner monthly planner daily planner so you can select any planner from here here the next thing is you can also change the page color select these three dots and here is the page settings option so you can open it now here you can see you can select different colors so you can see if i want to make it dark so here i can use this black background and for example i want to use this yellow color i can use it so we have different colors option available you can also change the scrolling direction of your pages so currently it is set to vertical you can also change it to horizontal now if i want to move so i can move it like this in this direction the next feature is about drawings so guys you can also use the drawings option inside samsung notes so select this attach icon and then from here you can see this option of drawing so i will open it so here you can see here is your drawing board you can use these different tools with different colors so for example i can use this brush i can use this pencil and i also have other drawing tools available once you finish you can select this done option and your drawing will be added to your notes so here you can see my drawing is added i can change its size i can also change its position inside my notes you can also attach different images to your samsung notes so select this image icon and then from here you can select any image for example i like this image i will open it and here you can see the image is now available inside my samsung notes now if you want you can also change its size you can change its position you can also rotate it as well the next thing is you can also use the reading mode option so here is the reading mode it will hide your tools and now you can use your samsung notes the next feature is about saving your notes so guys you can save your notes in six different formats select these three dots here is the option of save as file so you can select it and you can see we have six different formats available so you can save your notes as samsung notes file you can save it as pdf file word file powerpoint file image file or text file once you finish you can select done the next thing is you can also share your notes select these three dots here at the bottom you can see this share icon you can select it and then again you have to select your notes format once you finish you can select done and then you can share your notes across different platforms the next feature is about duplicate your notes for example i want to duplicate this note i have to go back from here and here is your dashboard so first of all you have to press and hold your note and then here is the option of duplicate note so you can select it like this so here you can see another duplicate note is created now you can use this note you can edit it as well the next thing is you can also lock your notes so you can set a password for your notes you just have to go back one time like this and then you have to select these three dots and here is the option of lock so you can select it and then you can set a password so here you can see first of all it will ask you for your samsung account so you have to enter your details and then you can lock your notes 
The next thing is there are other note taking apps available inside this laptop. So guys, these apps are pre-installed. For example, we have Microsoft OneNote, then we have GoodNotes, and then we also have Note Shelf. If you want, I can make a separate video about these note taking apps. So guys, this is for today's video. Keep learning and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.